what's up y'all welcome back to my channel so today we're doing a little do it your do it yourself <laughs> a little do it yourself project so i ordered this bomb ass bodysuit and i was on pinterest of course scrolling and i saw the miracle white tan on the perfect pair of distressed jeans that would match my um bodysuit that i ordered so today we're going to be making these jeans so we're gonna call them the Miracle Jeans. We're gonna be making the Miracle Jeans. Can you all see that? Um, yeah, so the jeans that I'm using today are this pair of Fashion Nova jeans that you all may remember from my haul with the snaps on the side. This, these jeans gonna be so long. Um, the supplies that I have, like household simple stuff. I have a ruler scissors, a razor blade, chalk so that I can like draw the lines where I want to cut. And then I have needles. These are going to, you can use a safety pin too. I don't know what my safety pins are, but you can use a safety pin too. So I'm using like sewing needles to pull apart extra threads. It just adds more detail to it. So let's get started okay so first okay, I'm gonna put that picture right there so first I'm just going to mark where I want to make the cuts it she has okay so I'm gonna start like right here because I got thick thighs and I don't want like everything just out So this is how one leg should look. You see the lines where we're gonna cut. So that's how one side should look. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm a perfectionist, that's why I'm like cutting it, but you can just really kind of like freestyle it, but I like for it to look like it was made like that, not necessarily that I made them that way.
So now that I've made all of the lines, their pants should look like this. I had put them too close together, so I had to go back and make double lines, but it's gonna look the same. So this is what your jeans should look like with the marks. And now I'm literally just going to cut where I made the incision. I mean, not where I made the incision. <laughs> Like this is Grey's Anatomy or something. I'm literally just gonna cut where I made the lines for the incisions. So now that I've um, cut where I actually want to distress and I'm going to start distressing. So first we're going to use the scissors to distress. Okay, so to do this part, I'm just going to take each panel and kind of rub the scissors up against it. But you don't want to be too rough because you can actually cut the strip and that's not gonna be cute so just take your time and you're gonna have to do it on both sides of the panel and then you can like pull some of the strings if you want to so now i'm finally at the oops, the bottom so i'm gonna start just just in the bottom which i had started a little bit got the major part of the distressing down on one leg. So now I'm going to do the other leg. And then I'm going to um, do the details and everything at the end. So they can really be like so cute. I think I'm gonna add one, like one to the back at the bottom. I think that'll be cute too. So. Completed the bell loops. As you can see, they, they're distressed. And now I'm going to do the pockets on the front and the back.
now that I've just added the small details, I'm going to make a slit in the back. I think a slit in the back would be really cute. So I'm just going to add one slit on each side of the back and distress that. I think I want the slit to be like right here. Okay. So this is the finished product. Well, mostly because now I have to wash them so that the string, uh, well, that the thread can actually come out some more and really loosen up. Okay, so I tried the jeans on for you all, so I'm going to insert that. But that is basically how the jeans look before I actually wash them. And you will just have to stay tuned for the finished look on Instagram when my body suit arrives, which it better be here in a few days. Anyway, it was fun. If you think that I should do another do-it-yourself video, please drop that down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give my video a big thumbs up. See you all next time.